A security scare at Twitter. Federal prosecutors have accused two former employees of, man of manipulating the social media platform to spy for Saudi Arabia. Our chief justice correspondent Pierre Thomas is in Washington with the details. Good morning, Pierre. George, good morning. It's a deeply disturbing story. Allegations of compromised Twitter employees willing to access and steal the private information of users who were seen as critics of the Saudi government, which the CIA has accused of assassinating a Washington Post journalist. Twitter now part of so many lives, a place to share that users hope will be safe, protected. But this morning, accusations by federal prosecutors that a Saudi official bribed two former Twitter employees to spy on users. The alleged targeted users, critics of the Saudi government, and accusations of bribes involving hundreds of thousands of dollars. The wake-up call here is not only for Twitter, but for the other platforms to up their game in their personnel screening, to up their game in their cybersecurity. The information potentially accessed includes addresses, phone numbers, emails, dates of birth, and access to the postings of users. Former Twitter employee Ahmad Abu Omo was arrested in Seattle this week. Accused of accessing the Twitter profile of a prominent critic of the royal family who has more than one million followers. Another suspect in the case, Ali Al Zabara, an engineer at Twitter, allegedly accessed the private data of users in mass. Accused of collecting information on more than 6,000 users, including at least 33 who were the target of Saudi Arabian law enforcement officials. Twitter has released a statement saying in part, quote, we recognize the links bad actors will go to to try and undermine our service. We understand the incredible risk faced by many who use Twitter to share their perspectives with the world and to hold those in power accountable. We're committed to protecting those who use our service to advocate for equality, individual freedoms and human rights. Guys. All right, Pierre. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.